Ellen Benefrat had met in Australia, the Lorna. Once upon a time, there was a house, and all around the house was a green background. And in the backyard was a place called the woodshed, where I would collect some wood while someone else stirs up in there. One day, the lawn was cut smooth because it was cut up and the wood was nearly gone. As usual, they were there in a wall. And there was the usual flower pot. Beside it was the little twig. Hello! There they were, lying in the sunshine. The little twig looked all about him. When he saw that everything was quiet, he knocked on the pot. I can't feel him. Out came the two flower pot men, Bill and Ben. As they got out, they noticed that Lorne was cut smooth from something. Why is the grass less thick? Well, Bill, you might visit the workshop to find what can tell you why the grasses are cut off? Be careful though, the man visits it. They went to the door of the workshop, left open when I was garden shedding. Walked quietly inside while I wasn't looking. What a mess it was when they went in. They saw the floor was covered up with some sawdust. There were some boxes where I keep the pine box stored. Above them were some shelves full of things that were for cobbled shape. Then they found what they were looking for. The lawnmower stored away after cutting the lawn, the first part that is. What does that thing do? said Ben, pointing at something. I think it stops the lawn mower, said Bill. I like a try. I wouldn't touch that stock on if I were you. Oh, oh! The far pot men were startled. The Lord Murrow they were surprised to see could talk. Sorry. We nearly did touch it. 
Where to little to move a heavy object like you? Why, Bill, a red burn. Red Bill and Ben, the frog pot men, by the way. Did you cut the lawn? Yes, I did. I've been doing it for years, but I can't do the second part. My tank's empty. I missed a smooth, by the way, and I remember hearing your feet. That was when we started exploring the house. I wish I could explore the house. See what the insides are like, but I can't do that. We've been to the kitchen, the living room, bathrooms and the bedrooms. That's what you haven't seen. Oh, that's what the insides look like. I can get in going along the front way, and maybe I can go to the deck. Of course I can't. My wheels are dirty. I'd best rest. I haven't gotten a few yet. Goodbye. Went back out of the workshop, back to the woodshed, glad to meet a new friend I haven't seen in a long time. All this time, the little trick had been listening. He knew which of the far-pot men had nearly started Mr. Smooth. Listen to his question song. Was it Bill or was it Ben? Nearly started Mr. Smooth just then. Which of those two flower-pot men? Was it Bill or was it Ben? Was it Bill or was it Ben? It was Ben who nearly started Mr. Smooth by mistake. I told you you'd find my friend Mr. Smooth. How did you know him? Well, I saw him cutting this part outside our shed when I was put here. Oh, that's some surprise. You didn't tell us. Oh, uh-oh. Suddenly, they heard me coming to make kindling. Quickly, they went back in their pot. I trick, my trick. Good night, you two. The little trig went to sleep behind the pot. There they were, resting in the sunshine. But I didn't know that Mr. Smooth had been fiddled because Ben didn't pull it. The star cord. Nobody in Australia ever knew about the far-pop men. Only you saw them play. And a little twig. I think the house knew something about it. Don't you?